Hey everyone, in this video we're going to have a Python script create a, a knowledge tree, uh, a detailed knowledge tree based on a given topic here, in this case for example quantum mechanics, and we have a list of uh, concepts related to quantum mechanics, and we can actually click on one, and then we'll get additional uh, concepts based on that, and if we click on further, then we actually get additional uh, concepts. So this is kind of like a knowledge tree extractor, I suppose. The code files for this project will be available at my Patreon. Link will be in the description. Let's quickly see how it works when we run the script. The knowledge extractor.py. We are greeted with a warning, which we'll talk about. I'm going to say yes, and then enter a topic, for example, online marketing, let's say. And then it's asking me the depth of topics we want to get. Let's start with one, and then we're going to uh, get a list of topics that are related to our our uh, concept uh, or whatever we have entered. And then we're going to get a JSON file related to that. And then a website actually related to that as well. Since we've specified just one, then we're only going to have the first layer of concepts uh, available. You can run it with live preview or you can start it with a live server or simply just double click on the index.html. Here we go. So this is what we got. But if you were to repeat this process again, online marketing, but uh, this time we select two, and we are all going to get the first initial topics, and then using parallel threading, we're going to get additional content for this. And now our final responses are much longer, and each original topic actually have additional topics that are related to it. And when we go to our website, now we see that each uh, key phrase actually have additional uh, information displayed underneath it. So you can do this for any concept really to get really deep into it. Let's try online marketing again, but this time at, uh, at the uh, three depth, depth, depth of three. Uh, so the original warning is that if you try to go beyond three in this one, it's going to cost you a lot. It's, it's perfectly reasonable up to three, but this is a very recursive process. As you can see now, our JSON file is now 10,000 lines long. And uh, our web page, uh, if you refresh it, now includes additional uh, concepts. Let's actually launch it as a whole website. Now see, see, this is all the concepts we have under online marketing. And we can go under SEO and we have a bunch of other knowledge. And then if we build on link building, then we have the uh, necessary concepts that are related to that. So this doesn't really explain any one of the concepts. I didn't intend it to be like that. It also comes with collapse all, but this is like to uh, get a general idea about any topic uh, when the script runs and when it finishes, it copies the contents to its own uh, folder. For example, here, if we were to type here, graphics processing units and run it at a depth of two, then we're going to get a knowledge tree, so to speak. Uh, based on this concept, and graphics in this processing unit is created along with the appropriate JSON file and with, with its website. Here we go. History of GPUs, types of GPUs, GPU brands, price ranges. Of course, we all needed to depth too. So before uh, the code, code files for this is, will be available at my Patreon. Link will be in the description. But before I continue, I made the mistake of actually while testing, running this at the depth four and it, it quickly accumulated uh, in under one minute to about $150, under $60 in API usage. Because we are using a iterative, we are creating threads using threading for each topic simultaneously. So I was creating over a thousand API calls. So this will, your limits won't kick in in a situation like this since you're making parallel calls. So I did put a, a disclaimer warning. If you do modify, the code is designed right now so that it won't run beyond uh, three. Uh, and depth, but uh, if you if you do run it, if you do want to modify it, make, do make sure that you do not set it any more than four. It will cost you a lot of money. So please do understand that. That's why I put this in the beginning to acknowledge that fact. And depth is how many depths into the one subject you want to go to. Just keep that in mind. I would like to take a moment to talk about the benefits of becoming a patron. And some of you may know, in the last year and a half, I've spent 3,000 hours, over 300 projects as a patron. You will have access to all the code files so you can get inspiration and iterate quickly. Another benefit is that you'll have access to all my courses. 
and my most recent and most proud one, the 1000X Masterclass, teaching how I what I've learned on how to code fast and efficiently. Also the Streamlit course and the Fast API course. In my Patreon, I also have tiers in which you can connect with me one-on-one. -on -one. Check those out as well. So now let's take a look at the code. Uh, our first file is basic call.py, which just pretty much sets up a, a function to stream GPT-4 responses. We are using GPT-4.0. Oh, this is going to take in a system message, user prompt, which we're going to input into messages. And it's just going to, we are going to use JSON uh, mode for this. <laughs> That's why we are specifying respond format as type JSON object. And we're just going to do a streaming so we can print them to terminal. And then uh, we're going to append it to append each chunk into a assistant response and then return it with json.load. So on the other end, we'll, we'll have a dictionary. And here is a sample of how we can run this. But this is just, just, a, just to make an API call. In our knowledge extractor.py, we import the stream uh, GPT-4 response function. And then we are using term color and threading because we're going to actually do the parallel. We want to get a lot of topics, but at the same time, all in parallel. Because the first layer might produce 10 to 20, let's say, concepts. And then we want to get 10 to 20 concepts for each one of them. So that would mean we are making almost like over 100 calls the next time around. If you were to do this sequentially, it would take a long time. So we are using threading. And that is why the warning that if you if you put the end depth to so four or more, then it's going to get very, very expensive very, very quickly. But up to three, it actually works perfectly fine. Actually, even with uh, the depth of three, it shouldn't cost any more than 50 cents or something like that, maybe a dollar, depending on how many keywords are generated, concepts or topics are generated. Four, four just makes it completely blow out of proportion. I know I keep saying the same thing, but please should be, uh, heed this warning. Okay, so dependencies for this project is pretty lightweight, open AI and term color, and the way we just have written a function in our basic called API. Here we are importing everything, and now we are printing the warning. It says, if you modify the code, do not set end depth more than three. It will be massively expensive and very quickly too. And we ask the user if they want to continue. <laughs> we do uh, want to get yes. And if a user has answered no, then we exit the program. Here's the system message. You're a helpful assistant. Please return your responses as a JSON object. Please use the following format for your responses. And we want a list of topics, topic one, topic two, topic three. And we do not want any nested lists. And then we define a function called get topics, which is going to take in a system message, user prompt depth, max depth, and collected topics and all topics. Because uh, when we are making the call to GPT for further topics, we are actually sending the previous topics as well. That's why it gets so expensive with mixed step four and above. And if uh, this is going to take a mixed step, if mixed step is above three, then we're going to raise a value error. You should not set end depth to more than three. It will be massively expensive and very quickly true. And if depth is uh, more than our mixed step, then we're going to return. So that means we're not going to process any further if this function ends at that point. And uh, we're going to uh, get a response from GPT-4 at this point. And then we're going to get the topics with, uh, from the key list of topics, which is what we are asking it to return. Then we're going to update all the topics to, uh, to include all uh, the new topics, all topics. We're going to update with our current topics. And we're going to set our current level as the uh, collected topics. And this next part is going to allow us to navigate to the appropriate depth level because when we are creating the JSON files, a JSON file, for example, for the first top for, for the first topic architecture, we want to add all the subtopics. And if the subtopic convolutional neural network had subtopics, then we want to add them just, just like this. I believe we did this with marketing. So if we go back to the beginning, we'll see. SEO had a subtopic, but then the topic keyword had subtopics here as well. So this is this is allowing us to manage that. And we initialize an empty threads list and for topic and topics. Uh, we're going to have a new prompt. She's going to say, tell me more about what about our topic is. Do not include the topics which we already have. We are, so we are keeping tra track of our topics and we don't want it to include previous topics. So therefore, uh, we give it, we give GPT all the topics we've already covered. And then we create a topic stick with a topic and a subtopic in an empty list. And then we are at the current level. We append the topic dictionary. And uh, with a thread, we start the thread and we as to the thread, the get topics function. That's why you can see this is very uh, recursive. So because we are calling the get topics within get topics function, 
so this is why it can get very expensive if you do something like this with uh, really you know in depth higher than three and then we when you're creating creating a new thread you give it a function and the arguments for the functions so here we are passing those on and then we append it to the thread and then start the thread and then at the end we join and end all the threads and remove empty subtopic lists right here because since we are initializing the dictionary right here uh, with the empty subtopics list, each one of these subtopic topics are going to have a sub subtopic empty list. So we're just removing that just for visually pleasing. So we just so we want it to look visually pleasing. And we are we have a function which is going to sanitize the file name because we want to actually write create a new folder with the topic and I write the J, copy the JSON file and index.html to it. We are actually going to take a look at the index.html as well, which we need, uh, which we well, this will become apparent in just a moment. So we take in a user input, we initialize collected topics, and we say all topics is a set, so it won't include any items. And I here we ask how many, and to the depth of topics you want to get to, one, two, and three. Only one, two, and three are available. If it is more than three, then we're going to raise a value error. If you should not set in depth more than three, it will be massively expensive and very quickly too. And we call the get topic recursive function, which is going to loop over all the topics and create uh, many, many threads to extract, get all the information we need quickly. And then we uh, sanitize the file name and then we create an output folder based on the user input and create that. And then we copy the final responses and the index.html to that folder. And that's it. And the final responses are going to be copied there. This, in, this index.html is pretty much processing, fetching the final responses and then creating elements based on that. It's in some JavaScript. I'm not going to get into the detail of the of this, but essentially it's just appending it. So when we so it's just creating a structure for the tree like JSON from the tree like JSON file, and also adding these expand and collapse buttons here, and also the collapse all button. Yeah, but it's pretty self-explanatory. As you can see, we have a topics container and. We are using Tailwind styling, and this fetch topics is going to fetch it and create. It's going to create topic elements directly inside of this topics container, and it's going to continue appending the uh, the necessary buttons and the topics to the HTML. And we also have like collapse all topics, which is going to uh, set the change the HTML back so that they will look collapsed. I hope you found this useful. So I want to ex expand more on this. Obviously, this this was just an experiment, which also cost me $160 because I went uh, and more than n depth four. I do want to again reiterate: to do not go beyond three. But then, other other than that, you should be fine. And this idea is very cool, I think, because it allows you to you know explore a subject on a very conceptual level. At least, if you wanted to familiarize yourself with a subject, you can at least get to see what, what it all entails in a very high level conceptual level. So I think this should be useful. Let me know what you think in the comments. Like I said, the code files for this project will be available at my Patreon and the link will be in the description. Thank you. I would like to take a moment to talk about the benefits of becoming a patron. As some of you may know, in the last year and a half, I've spent 3000 hours, over 300 uh, projects as a patron. You will have access to all the code files so you can get inspiration and iterate quickly. Another benefit is that you'll have access to all my courses and my most recent and most proud one, the 1000X Masterclass, teaching how I what I've learned on how to code fast and efficiently. Also the Streamlit course and the Fast API course. In my Patreon, I also have tiers in which you can connect with me one-on-one. -on -one. Check those out as well.